Welcome to Morning Manor's Week in Review with Pastor Steve Mary. A summary of this week's Morning Manor. Sing it, a new song. The occasions of triumph require a new song to be sung. It would not have been the fullest of praise for Miriam to conduct the music of the daughters of Egypt. An old song could not have spoken out the feeling of that generation. They have to have a new song. Sing unto the Lord, for he had triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider had he thrown into the sea. When Deborah and Barak had taken care of the host of Sisera, they did not borrow Miriam's song. They had a new song for that new event. They said, Awake, awake, Deborah, awake, awake. Utter a song, arise, Barak, and lead thy captivity captive, thou son of Binoam. The final blows are forever crushing, total, final. That is why we will sing a new song, because we will begin a new life in glory of him forever. The thought of the day. God never had questionable days in battle, and he was never on the verge of losing. When the faithful vanish. Our world today is filled with liars and false flatterers, and there are times when the righteous hardly know who to trust. One of the things that this psalm speaks of is the betrayal that comes through deception. Not all worshippers are the same. This is why Jesus made mention that the Father seeketh such to worship him who would worship him in spirit and in truth. Mary from the New Testament with her alabaster box is an example of the behavior that separates the classes of worshippers from the general to those who are highly devoted to the Lord. David in the psalm is experienced in a moment where it seems that the faithful, the holy, the righteous, the elect are nowhere to be found. And he longs for the true worshippers to show up. The enemy wants to get you to a place of frustration. He wants to put you on lockdown so your minds become weary. But let me remind you today that your commitment is not to a building. Your commitment is to the Lord. I know not everybody loves Zoom, but the Lord said to Moses, Moses, what is that in thine hand? The reality is, saints, we've got to use what we've got. Do not be discouraged. Let the devil know, whatever comes, Jesus, I'll go through with you. The thought of the day, no matter how bad things get, God will always have a remnant who will worship him. Small beginnings, big endings. This was the reasoning of Bildad the Shunite. He wanted to prove that Job could not possibly be an upright man, because if he was, he claimed that his prosperity would increase continually, or that if he fell into any trouble, God would arise to the occasion for him and make the habitation of his righteousness prosperous. And even though all his family was now destroyed and his wealth scattered in the wind, yet if he were an upright man, Bildad reasoned that God would surely appear for him and his latter end would greatly increase. Bildad and the other men spake as mere men, not as God wanted them to speak. They reasoned in their own speech, but the Spirit of God was not in their speech, in the general sense. Yet at any time when the Lord wanted to break into what they were trying to reason out, the Lord would take the liberty to do so, as in this case. I encourage you today to take courage, because no matter how small the seeds of faith are, if it is genuine faith in God, it will outrun and outdo the doubts in the end. Your crown of life is obtained, not by your own arm, but by the Lord's strong arm which he now holds out to you. You may feel small right now, but there's coming a day when you will be ushered into the king's presence and your accusers won't be able to mock you anymore. The thought of the day, though the beginning of good things are small, yet their latter end shall greatly increase. Serve the Lord with fear. We cannot truly love God unless the fear of God is in us. And the true love for him is expressed by our walking in obedience to his word. How much does the fear of the Lord affect the way we live? There are some who have no fear of God. If they did, they would tremble and obey him. The devil believes and tremble, but he does not obey. Achan was numbered among the believers, but he disobeyed the express word of God that came by Moses. 
we thank God for those who fear him and keep his commandments. When the king did that which was right before the Lord and walked in the fear of God, the Lord was with him and blessed him and prospered him and put the dread of him in all their enemies. When the king did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, then the Lord departed from him and there was famine and ruin and destruction that came upon the land. Today's morning man is very simple saints. The one who did that which was right, God blessed. And those who did evil, God forsook. My advice to you today, learn to fear the Lord thy God. The thought of the day, the Lord is ready to teach his fear to all who desire it. Self Opposition The Bible clearly states that all have sinned. It is in my nature to sin and it is your nature to sin too. None of us is untainted because of sin. We've all hurt ourselves, we've all hurt other people, and others have hurt us too. This means each of us need repentance and recovery in order to live our lives the way that God intended. When Israel returned from captivity in the Old Testament, their first project was to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem, which took over 20 years and symbolized their restored relationship with the Lord. But 70 years after the completion of the temple, the walls of Jerusalem still laid in ruins. Here is a people who have been able to re-establish repentance, which is the temple, but unable to re-establish recovery, which is the walls. If you are hurt, God wants to heal you. If you are confused, God wants to lead you. If you feel you can't change, God wants to help you too. If you feel no one understands, God wants to comfort you. Good intentions and willpower are not enough. I need a source of power beyond myself. I need God. What is grace? Grace is a power to change. Grace is a power God gives to me to make the changes in my life that I want to make, and more importantly, that He wants me to make. And there's only one way to get grace. God only gives grace to the humble. The thought of the day, when I put my person together, the world looks just fine. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.